Hello guys, this is Blade presenting to you a video. Um, it has been quite a while since I've done one of these videos, uh, probably about three to four months now. But I've decided to start with playing StarCraft 2 again after a little bit of a break, and I decided I would start with a video on my day back. Well, the day after. So this is going to feature a Protoss, uh, I don't remember his name, but he's going to cannon rush me, and what this video is going to go over is defending the cannon rush, proper reactions to it, and how not to overreact to a cannon rush. So I'm just going to start the game and let this get going. What's going to end up happening this game is he's going to cannon rush me. That's his goal from the get-go. He wants to cannon rush me no matter what I do. So what I'm going to do is do his typical play. You're going to see my drone scout. And I'll explain that once we get to those spots. So the reason why I'm doing this is because, well, after BlizzCon, literally almost every CVP I'm playing is a cannon rush nowadays. I figured I would make a video on best ways to react to it and not to overreact or think you have to do an all-in. Um, this is played on the Korean server. <coughs> and so this is gonna, just going to be standard. I'm going to do my typical drone overlord here to see what he's up to. He's going to send his probe. He's going to make a forge here. And I'm going to drone scout. I always drone scout in ZVP because I don't want to go hatch first versus a forge first as, this, as you will see he does. In a lot of ways that some players like to react to cannon rushes are one base nidus, which never works anymore, or some sort of one base all in. Um, you're going to notice that he does a heavy cannon rush, and this would freak a lot of Zerg players out and make them think, I have to kill him now, I can't play a macro game. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about once he starts his cannon rush, and I'll tell you what to do. Because what you want to do is you want to get roaches. They're just the best way to break a cannon rush, unless it's like one cannon, then you don't really have to, but well, I guess you do if they pile on it. But like with what this guy does, you're, you need roaches, otherwise you're going to be stuck on one base the whole game, and that's what he wants. And as you can see, he throws down the forge, I scout that, <coughs> spawning pull down ASAP. He's got that probe just kind of sitting here doing nothing. I have my first overlord going here to see the natural timing. This one goes here so I can sacrifice it later. And here begins his cannon rush. He's going to do it on the top of my ramp. And there is no way to stop this. My spawning pool is done, but I couldn't prevent the, pr the probe from doing that. So this cannon rush is going to succeed. But he's going to do it hardcore. He's not going to do just one cannon. He's going to do like five. And this is a situation where some Zergs might find themselves in where they just do one base nidus instead of trying to play it out. One base nidus is what they want you to do. If you do a one base nidus, you're pretty much giving them the game. There's, uh, because any decent Protoss player will have pylons everywhere and units spreading around, so it's it's just not the uh, the reaction. And you don't want to do a <coughs> one base roach sling all in because he's going to have cannons here. It's not going to work. Now, as you can see, he gets the cannons down. He's got two. He's going to force me to cancel this. And right now, what I should have done is you want to you want to get your gas pretty much as soon as you see this succeeds. Like, this succeeded. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm not stopping this cannon rush, no matter how hard I want to. So you'll see me throw double gas down soon. And from what I, what I like to do is just keep making queens. I'll make another queen soon. Because I didn't think he'd actually commit this hard, but he does. And I'm going to be making a few lings. I'm going to double gas. I should have gassed sooner. You want to gas probably as soon as you see him. Especially when he starts committing like this. Like, that's four cannons right there. That's a lot of cannons. And he actually looks five complete. That's, again, that's a lot of cannons. And you do not need to all in when you see this. Um, things you have to remember. His tech is delayed. Like, sure he's got a gateway coming up here. But no expansion. He's going to get it before me. Economically, he does have more probes to my drones, but his tech is just so, so far behind. Like, he's just not getting a nexus. I have my roach horn coming. I'm mining from double gas for a little bit because I need to get some roaches to bust this. And then once I bust this, I'm just going to go into normal free hatch play, see his tech, and just go from there. So, I mean, that's five cannons. Gateway up here because he wants that vision up here so that I can't just uh, kill these from the high ground. Notice how I'm just continuously making queens, getting some roaches. 
And I'm gonna pull these guys off of gas soon, because I don't need them on gas anymore. Once you get about... I mean, with how many cannons this guy made, you do want about six roaches. Six to seven. Six to eight. I would say is a good number. And as you can see, I'm gonna make these, and I'm gonna start pulling these guys off soon. And I'm just gonna keep making queens, because I wanna get this high down. And now look at this. He made a cybernetic score, but I mean, it's seven minutes and it's just started. But he's got no minerals, and he doesn't have gas because he decided to get another gateway and a cybernetic score. And he has to get a cannon here. So I have my roaches. Pull guys off of this gas. I pull them off of here in a minute. And I'm going to take out the cannons. Now, most serves again, like I said, that you'd think, I'm, you'd think I'd, I'd be in an unwinnable situation. But I'm actually not in as bad situation as you would think. Because again, his tech is just so far behind. He still hasn't mined gas, even though he should be now. But that's because he has to keep, he's making pylons because he doesn't want to get nidus. If I went for one base nidus, this thing he did where he delayed his gases so that he could get vision all over his base would give him a free win. But I'm playing a normal game. I'm going to go straight into a normal game. I'm getting my three hatcheries. I'm droning. But I'm going to send these roaches across the map because I want to force him to make more cannons. And he has to. He, he doesn't have units. He's going to get his first zealots. He can't afford to make um, a ton of units. So this is a the thing. These, these roaches are just a force cannon so that he, it delays his uh, gateways, delays his tech, because that's 150 minerals per cannon. And he has no idea how hard I'm going to I'm going to commit to this. He has no idea what I'm doing. He knows I took my expansion, but he has no idea if I'm going to all in or if I'm going to drone. So he has to. So he's forced to make some cannons, and he makes about two. And I still get in because he under he uh he didn't realize I was going to do this. And again, this is resources lost right here. That's 300 minerals. That's two gateways. He's just now getting his robo. Now he's not mining from his natural. He's still ahead by a lot of workers, but again, he doesn't have anything. That cannon, he just invested so much into this cannon rush, and he hoped I would do a one base all-in, which would give him the win. Now these roaches are just doing some damage. I kill... I think I kill eight probes. Eight probes. Yeah, so I kill eight probes there. I'm pretty much caught up in economy again. He's got his Robo, he's got his Immortals coming. He's gonna go straight into an all-in. I mean, so in this total game, he's in, he's made about 10 cannons? And I still haven't, and I'm just now taking the lair. You know, it's almost done. I'm just playing this out normal. I'm gonna go Roaches. I'm gonna go Roachling to start off. I was actually gonna go Mutas since I scouted the Robo. Because obviously no Stargate, might as well go Muta, that's what I like to do. You can play this out any way you want. You can go Swarm Host, you can go Muta, Roach Hydra, Fast Viper, I mean, whatever playstyle you want to do. But I'm going into Mutas. But I kind of realize he's going to be two base all inning. I send some wings over and scout. I'm, and like I said, I'm just going to keep droning up. Just going to keep keeping an eye on when he moves out. Spread the creep. Getting Roach Speed plus one attack. Because I had a feeling he was going to two base all in. A lot of players that cannon rush will normally follow up with some sort of two base all in, either a gateway all in or they'll do something. They normally don't try to go into a fat into a third and then play a normal macro game. They normally try to kill you fast after that because normally it'll work. Um, if they do, like if they do a cannon rush and they kill drones, they're super far ahead. But if they don't kill drones, as long as it's more. As long as it's one cannon, it, they're still a little bit ahead, but they're not, like, in an unwinnable or unlosable situation. Um, you can still win the game. You can come back. You're not going to be that far behind. You're, you are going to be behind, though. I mean, as you can see, he's giving me... He's doing a two-base all, and he's giving me plenty of time to drone up, because all those cannons, as I've said many times before, they just... They delayed his text so much. I mean, as you can see, he's just... He's finally getting the gateways. He's getting his immortals his little immortal all in ready but at this point I mean I've got a good economy I'm at um, 50 drones I could be higher but I started making units because I see no third and at 1250 I figured his uh, timing would be soon and I'm just continuously making units from this point 
I'm throwing down spines because, again, no third base. I have vision of the whole map. I know he's not going for a third. I don't think I've scouted this. Oh, but I'm about to. But I, like I said, when you when your opponent's still on two bases this far into the game, you know he's doing an all-in. So I scout this, but I'm already preparing. I've got three spines, a bunch of roachling, and just look at the supplies, though. I mean, it's starting to get out of control. This is, uh... I mean, I'm only 30 supply ahead, but that's only going to jump up more and more. And with three spines, this should be a pretty easy hold. And the creep spread is really nice because it delays, uh, the pylon has to be further back. And I'll also know sooner when he's coming so I can get a good surround. And he does have an observer. I actually didn't know that. And he did wait a little too long. And I supply block myself. But he wanted to wait for the pylon so he can get reinforcements. And he does say Colossi, but again, I have vision. I know he's not going for a third, so I know I just have to hold this. If I hold this out, man. So, this is a good way to engage this army, is to spread your army, like, uh, especially on this map. This is where you want to abuse this map. Is notice I'm spreading my army in three different directions. There's going to be one here, one here, and then a group in the middle. Uh, because it's really hard to force field. Like, even with this many sentries, to force field all around you, it's really hard on this map, and you want to abuse it on a map like this. Because as you'll see, you'll see what happens. But right now, I'm still 30 supply up, the same as before, not anymore. I'm making units, about to be 40 supply up, getting my Spire, because I was going to go Mutas after this. And, and now you can just see, I'm just going to surround this army. And it just gets absolutely crushed. And you'll kind of see that I decide to make it start dancing, because one can't rush me, he deserved it, right? Everyone agrees with me there. And just kind of crush him, and that's kind of the game there. Now, he didn't play this flawless. He could have done many things better. Um, over, he shouldn't have, well, for starters, making 10 cannons here wasn't, or 5 cannons here wasn't worth it, and all that fun stuff. Um, there's not really too much else to talk about. I mean, he could have played this better, not had to make so many cannons. I mean, he had to sacrifice the gas so he couldn't lose tinnitus, and you kind of have to do that, otherwise you lose tinnitus, and you don't want that. Um, so really, this is just kind of the best way to deal with the cannon rush, is just how I showed there. Because you don't want to just all in, it doesn't work, unless the Protoss player is being stupidly greedy. Which which does happen, it's not like it doesn't happen. Um, so I'm not sure what video I'll do next, but I figured with all the cannon rushes, I'd do a video on it real quick. And um, if anyone else has any ideas, tweet me at Blade555 with three fi Blade three fives. Um, you can follow me there too, or my stream at Twitch TV, Blade55555. Five 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 five. Uh, that's five fives. Um, I'll try to do a video every week, but no promises. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck on ladder.